Hey, cow forever here. Spiritual journal flow. Um, I just kind of wanted to express and kind of like talk about some of the videos I've been sharing. I feel like I'm too raw and too vulnerable right now. And maybe, and I need to not be sharing so much of this personal information. And so I might go through and not delete those videos, but for the time being until I'm kind of like from a different point of view, able to really discern, you know, myself. And I'm not like the main thing that keeps coming up is this twin flame relationship. And I know a lot of people are that are coming out as twin flames are going through a lot. And there's a lot of pressure on us. And, uh, like, there are so many good things in my life right now. Like, I'm about to do a sound healing session in my living room with uh, this other guy that plays the gongs. He has, like, gongs of Saturn that have the Saturn frequency. And I'm in my Saturn return. I'm shivering a little bit, you know. It's just a lot of tough things that I'm facing, that we're all facing, and I'm not just feeling myself. I'm feeling my twin flame. I'm feeling my own stuff. I'm feeling how I was mistreated and expressing that. And just because someone mistreats you and makes mistakes doesn't make them a bad person. We need to get out of that mindset of like, who's bad, who's good. You know, it's good to like kind of create boundaries and like, you know, I don't want that person drinks too much. I don't want that person in my life, you know, because that's a bad influence for me. You know, those are great boundaries to make. Man, it's really hard to, man, I'm shivering. It's really hard to just be present in, I don't know. Like this person, it's like you're always on the phone with this person and you can't hang up the phone and this person's always yippity yackity, yippity yak, <laughs> talking to you energetically, telepathically, and it's not like an auditory like voice. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not clairaudient. I don't know if it's, I don't know, I'm very clairvoyant, like I can see energies. I don't know really all the clairs, but like, I, I feel her energy, I'm empathic to it, and I get like a download in thoughts, and she's a very active thinker. And with the Mercury retrograde that's either happening or about to happen, it's gonna highlight, like, making us overthink and monkey mind like crazy. Man, I'm shivering. <laughs> it is kinda cold out here now. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get another cold spill. <laughs> and I already got a sunburn and everything. I'm like getting ready for summer <laughs> or spring. But, you know, this is the time to move forward. This is prepare this is pushing us forward. That's the way the energy is right now with this new moon, and that's the seeds I'm setting, you know, to move forward past these things and this month is a huge release for a lot of people that are going through that frustration and not really having a direction and I do have a direction it just seems like there's like this direction is with this person and it seems like these there's these blockages and I you know with these difficult things coming up these are these blocks releasing but anyways I just kind of wanted to mention you know I might privatize some of the videos because I feel like I was a little too private sharing too much information maybe not I need to kind of watch them and you know but you know I this is my spiritual journal flow in out of being raw and vulnerable in hopes of you know I don't really feel emotionally unstable but I feel this level of like when it starts to come up, it's like, okay, meditate or do one of these. You know, I like to channel my energy through these videos. <sighs> oh, 
man, there was just, I was in meditation and I'm in just all this red energy and I can see her and she's always got like a pink sweater on, like a pink aura. I don't know why. And God, this is, it's just so in my face. That's why I'm always like talking about this. It's just so in my face. Like she's literally like right here. I can feel her. And earlier it felt like her face was on my face and like I was, like she had a scarf on or some kind of bonnet thing. Like, or I could feel her headband on her head and it felt like it was on my head and it's like, it's kind of cool, but like, at the same time, it's like, 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 she's like so holding on to me and it's like I have no space in my body. And, you know, I really want space. I don't want this clinging onto me. Because I gotta be a healer. I gotta go do my job. I gotta work tonight. You know, I, I've gotta work on myself. I gotta take care of my things. And I hope she watches these. I hope she watches these. And these birds are awesome behind me. But Cal Forever here. Thanks for listening. Peace.